we're fighting, fighting on, on the Lord's side. side. Whose side are we fighting on? We're, we're fighting on the Lord's side. We're fighting, we're fighting, we're fighting, we're fighting, we're fighting on the Lord's side. We're fighting, we're fighting, we're fighting, we're fighting, we're fighting on the Lord's side. Tell me whose side are you praying on? We're praying on the Lord's side. Tell me whose side are you praying on? We're praying on the Lord's side. We're praying, we're praying, we're praying, we're praying, we're praying on the Lord's side. We're praying, we're praying, we're praying, we're praying, we're praying on the Lord's side. Who's that? We're singing on the Lord's side. We're singing on the Lord's side. We're singing, we're singing, we're singing, we're singing, we're singing on the Lord's side. We're singing, we're singing, we're singing, we're singing on the Lord's side. We're singing, we're singing, we're singing, we're singing, we're singing on the Lord's side. We're singing, we're dancing on the Lord's side. We're dancing on the Lord's side. We're dancing, we're dancing, we're dancing, we're dancing, we're dancing on the Lord's We're dancing, we're dancing, we're dancing, we're dancing, we're dancing on the Lord's side. Tell me whose side are we fighting on? We're fighting on the Lord's side. Tell me whose side are we fighting on? We're fighting on the Lord's side. We're fighting, we're fighting, we're fighting, we're fighting, we're fighting on the Lord's side. We're fighting, we're fighting, we're fighting, we're fighting, we're fighting on the Lord's side. Oh, hi. I didn't even see you there. I was just about to have my snack. I would love to share my snack with you, but I only have a little bit. I don't have a lot. You know what? This reminds me of a story when Jesus fed 5,000 people. I'm going to share that story with you. Grab your Bibles, and we'll read the story together. But before we get to the Bible story, I think I need to change. Okay, so I'm going to change. Ah, that's better. Now we're going to learn a little bit more about Jesus. We're going to listen to the story of how Jesus fed 5,000 men and their family with just two fish and five loaves of bread. Okay, let's begin. Sometime after this, Jesus crossed to the far shore of the Sea of Galilee that is, the Sea of Tiberias. And a great crowd of people followed him because they saw the signs he had performed by healing the sick. Then Jesus went up on a mountainside and sat down with his disciples. The Jewish Passover festival was near. When Jesus looked up and saw a great crowd coming toward him, he said to Philip, Where shall we buy bread for these people to eat? He asked this only to test them, for he already had in mind what he was going to do. Philip answered him, It would take more than a half a year's wages to buy enough bread for each one to have a bite. Another of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, spoke up. Here is a boy with five small barley loaves and two small fish. But how far will they go among so many? Jesus said, have the people sit down. There was plenty of grass in that place and they sat down. About 5,000 men were there. Jesus then took the loaves, gave thanks, and distributed to those who were seated as much as they wanted. He did the same with the fish. When they had all had enough to eat, he said to his disciples, gather the pieces that are left over. Let nothing be wasted. So they gathered them and filled 12 baskets with the pieces of the five barley loaves left over by those who had eaten. Wasn't that an amazing story? Just two fish and five loaves of bread and there were 12 baskets left over. 
Jesus is amazing. He performed a great miracle to show how much power God has, and he did it to help us. So whenever you don't think that you can do something, just try harder and know that if Jesus can do it, you can do it. That's our Bible story for this week. See you next time. Hi everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm just kidding. Um, wasn't that a great account of Jesus feeding the 5,000 with the fish and the loaves? So we're gonna do a small craft to show what a basket would look like, right? So here are our tools. So, um, so the first thing we're going to do is take our plate. Now again, 99 cent store, nothing fancy. We're gonna fold it in half like a taco. Love tacos. Bang. So what we're going to do is we're gonna cut it in half. Now, if you don't feel confident cutting, please ask your parent for help. Great. So here are the two parts of our basket. So now we can do a few things. If you have tape, you can tape it together, right? If you have a stapler, you can staple it together. So we're going to be leaving this part open. That's the mouth of our basket. And we're gonna tape or staple all around. All right. So let's see what kind of basket we got here. Huh. Pretty nice, right? Right? So now, what's a basket without decorations? I like stars. So I'm gonna make some decorations on my basket and you could do the same with yours. Right, guys so you can see I have my little garden here with the flowers my tree don't judge my drawing and I have some hearts and some stars okay so for me my basket is done but if you want to decorate your basket more feel free all right so I have some paper lying around right um, we're gonna make some fish now if you know how to cut fish out freehand all props to you if not I'm gonna show you a really easy way that I draw fish oh so to make the fish I kind of start off as if I'm making a triangle the three sides and all I do is make a curve with a point and then a curve and I meet the end. Eyes and smiley face. And there's my fish. So here's my little fish. He's smiling, though we're about to eat him. All right, so I'm gonna cut him out. Again, if you don't feel confident with the scissors, always ask for help. So 
who remembers how many fish did Jesus have to feed the 5,000? That's right. He had two, right? And that's what I have here. They're brothers. Oh, he's upside down. <laughs> They're brothers, all right? So on each one, just because the moral of this event is for you to know that God can do so much but so little, right? So we're going to write a small message on it. So with my marker, just put that right there in for you guys. God can do anything. So where are these two little fishies gonna go? In my basket. Okay. Bang. So we have the two fish. What else do we need? How many loaves of bread? Five. So with my same brown paper, now again, you can have any kind of paper you want. You want blue bread, you want green bread. Well, don't eat green bread. You want any kind of bread, you can have that, right? So I'm gonna draw some loaves of bread on my brown paper, all right? So I drew my loaf of bread. Um, I'm not quite sure that the bread looked like that uh, in Jesus's time, but that's the only bread I know how to draw, okay guys? So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out. So what was the number we said again? We said five. For anyone that was curious on how I drew my bread, I did a small, I started off as if I was going to make a box and at the top, I finished it with the top of a heart. Just in case you were wondering, well, how does she do that? That's how I did it. So, I do need five of these. I have one, so that means I need four more. Instead of drawing it over and over again, I'm just gonna take my paper, have a slice of it, and I'm going to divide it into four, fold it into four, okay? So, that's one, and that's two, All right? That's gonna give me four. See it there, guys? All I'm gonna do is line my bread up and I'm gonna cut. The bread is brown, so it's whole wheat bread. Very, very, very good for you. Don't eat the paper, guys. There you go. My five loaves of bread. One, two, three, four, five. Where does that go? In my basket. So, okay. bread. we have our fish with the message that God can do anything. We put our bread in there. Now, what's a basket without a handle? You have a choice. I do have string, right? So if you have string, you can do a few things. My string is not that thick, so I'm going to triple it. I'm gonna make a knot at the end. So that's one knot, make another knot right here. To make the knot, I roll it around my finger. I make a little circle and then I put the string through, right? Okay, knot, okay. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to staple the ends to the side of my basket. And again, if you have tape, you can use tape as well. So one, two. 
All right, here's my basket with my decoration, my hearts and stars, my bread, five loaves, and my two fish, and the message that God can do anything. Thanks, guys. See you soon.